Greetings, Panthers. My name is James. Uh, did you know that if you are a student or a faculty or staff member, you have access to Microsoft 365 for free? And today I'm going to show you how to get that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to our homepage. And from there, if you're a student, you'll click on students. If you're faculty or staff member, you'll click on faculty or staff. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to click on students and you'll need to sign into your account. So once you log into the portal, you want to click on email. Now, once you've signed into your email, at the top left of the screen next to the word Outlook, you're going to see a little box here. And you'll click on that. And then you want to click on Microsoft 365. And at the far right of the next page when it loads up, you'll click on Install and More. And then here you're just going to click on Install Microsoft 365 Apps. Now, when this page loads up, you'll click on Install Office. Now, this works for Mac or Windows. And you'll just download the file and install it onto your computer. Now, if you don't want to install the software, you want to be able to use it on the web, you can do that as well. So we'll just click on this little box again, and now we can just pick one of the apps that we want to use, for example, Word. And this will take me to the Word interface. And from here, I can either start a new document or you have access to Microsoft OneDrive, so everything is stored on the cloud. Uh, so you can open a current document that you've been working on or like I said, start a new one. And so I'll just click on blank document here. And so now I have Microsoft Word up on the screen and I'm just gonna uh, type in test three and I'm gonna save this as test three. I'm gonna press enter. And so now when I'm done with my document, I can just close out the tab. And if I click refresh right here, You'll see now that I have a new document called test three, and I can open this up anywhere as long as I have an internet connection. Uh, you can also save these on your computer if you wanna do it that way as well. So now if I wanna see what's on my OneDrive, I can just click on the little box again and click on OneDrive. And this will pull up uh, all the files that are currently in my OneDrive. And that's all there is to it. I hope that helps. If you need more help using online tools, I have a host of videos right here on YouTube that you can check out right here.